why my husband um, thought that it'd be neat if I put on this dress that he bought me in Germany, where he bought a, a dress this big, I have no idea. But under this dress, I have on my hoop skirt. Plus, I also have on a 200-yard floor-length petticoat. And the dress came with tulle and, and lining, and, and that even makes it fuller. I just wish I had a place to wear this dress. It makes a little noise. So since I don't have a place to wear this dress, my husband and I, we've always had house dates. We feel like it's very important for a married couple to just set time aside for themselves, to have a glass of wine, a little snack, a meal at the house, and just sit and talk and, and smooch, I guess, or maybe the word, I think when I was a teenager it was called petting. I don't know what they call it now, but, uh, but I think it's very important for a couple to be romantic with each other, to tell them each day how much they love them. Find the things that you like most about your significant other, your spouse, whatever they are, and, and just play on that. But right now I'm just going to kind of twirl and let you see how this dress moves. It's New Year's Day, so, you know, my husband and I are here. We didn't have to work, and we're just kind of playing house, I guess, having a house date. My husband had to pause the camera and take a deep breath. I kind of feel like Cinderella when I have something like this on. I know when I was growing up, we didn't have dresses quite like this. My grandmother made most of my clothes, but she was an excellent seamstress. and My clothes were always beautiful. It looked like uh, the other girls at school that their parents bought theirs right off the rack. But mine were made with special love from my grandmother, who has been gone for 20 years now. And I sure miss her, because I know I could count on her to make me a dress if I needed it. When I was growing up, I was one of eight children. And there was hand-me-downs. And you know, after a while, you get kind of tired of wearing hand-me-downs. You want something that's kind of new. You didn't have to share with a sister. Of course, then I got married, and my daughter, she had to wear my clothes, my makeup, I wanted my purse, a brush, my lipstick, eyeshadow. It was in her purse. Thank God the only thing she couldn't wear was my shoes. I know there's a lot of women out there that probably look at this style and they want to throw up but but it is very feminine and if you would ever put on something like this it makes you feel a lot different i like to wear jeans too because some occasions call for it but you just feel like a princess and of course ladies my husband does all the grocery shopping, does all the cooking, does the laundry, not because I can't do it, it's because he likes to do it, and who am I to argue with that? And of course now he says that since he's going to be retired, when I come home from work, he'll have dinner ready, and, and we'll just be able to spend more quality time with each other. He won't be so stressed with his daily job, which... Um, he worked for the Army Reserves as a full-time technician, and that's the job that he's retiring from.
lot of fullness in this. I don't think I'd ever be able to get it straightened out. It's a little better. A, a doll that uh, I bought while I was in uh, Germany and but then when I went on to Vienna I got a statue of the uh, Kaiserin Elizabeth and she always dressed full like this too I guess they said she really loved her clothes 